and hello to everybody. I'm, of course, obviously very excited and honored to be here today as a new head coach of England. I just um, had the chance to read a quote from Pelé in the, in the building in Wembley, who said that Wembley is the heart, the capital, and the cathedral of football. And I think he was absolutely right. So I want to take uh, the opportunity to thank uh, the FA, especially Mark and John, for their trust. And I'm very excited to start this journey in uh, January with, uh, with you, with the staff at St. George's Park and at Wembley. And of course, with a very special and exciting group of players to make our dream come true in America. Well, Thomas. Hi. Congratulations. It's Rob Dawson <laughs> from you. Sky Sports. Nice to see you. Look, you've had some huge jobs in football already. Yeah. Is this your biggest challenge? And with that in mind, would it be your biggest achievement if you led England to a, a major title? I understood very quickly that it's a big job. Uh, I think it's always the job you're in is the biggest job that you don't get. And, and it does not make a lot of sense to compare. But um, it feels big and it feels, like I said, uh, like a privilege. Um, it is very new because I come from, from club football. So the rhythm, the, the responsibility, the role is a new role, which is also very exciting. I was uh, very open for that and, and like the idea of it. Uh, once Mark and, and John made uh, clear to me that uh, this job is about football, I, um, uh, we never lost the momentum, and once I made a, a time frame up in my mind from January to, to the World Cup, I, I felt already excited and that it, it, it suited my, my, my passion and, and uh, my, my strive to, to, to push this group of players and, and to be part of this, this federation with such a, a strong record in the last tournaments to, to push it uh, over the line and, and to try to put a second star on the shirt. Good luck. Um, Mark, your statement was... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> it was a little bit flippant, that, wasn't it? I beg your pardon. Yeah. <laughs> um, Mark, your statement was unequivocal, really, in saying that you, your, your entire criteria, your primary criteria, was to appoint somebody that could, could uh, deliver a major, a major trophy. Um, is it an uncomfortable truth for you, though, the fact that, that Thomas isn't English? So, Rob, we were always really clear that we wanted the very best person for the job. And we feel like we owe it to the players and the country to give them that support, that leadership in tournaments that will help to get them over the line and give us the best chance of winning a trophy in the Men's World Cup. So we feel we've done that. We feel delighted that Thomas has joined us. Thomas, Dan Rowan, BBC. Um, there'll be many England fans who are very excited about your arrival, given your vast experience, the trophies you've won, your pedigree. What would your message be, though, to those fans who would have preferred the England team to be managed by an English coach? And do you understand that I'm, position? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just have a German passport, but I can just tell them, and I maybe everyone, all of these supporters also felt my passion for for the English uh, Premier League, my passion for the country, how, 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 how I love to live here and how I love to work here. So my memories are on, on the highest level of that, so that played a huge role. Um, and, and hopefully I can convince them and show them and prove them that I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be the English manager. I'm, I will do everything to show respect to this role and to this country. And um, the target for the next 18 months is uh, nothing else than and, and, um, the, the biggest one in, 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 in world football and everyone can be assured of no, no matter what uh, nationality my passport says. And Mark, if I may ask, you say in your statement you interviewed several candidates. Can you shed any light, a bit more detail on that? For example, how many were any English? Was Lee Carsley ever a realistic possibility? Can you give us any more details about who else you spoke to? Sure, Dan. As you'd understand, the whole process was confidential, and I think I understand at the times that might have been frustrating for, for people, but we had to maintain that confidentiality for us, but also really more importantly for the candidates. So I'll say a few things, but I'll hold it at that. So we interviewed approximately 10 uh, people, um, and we did interview some English candidates within that. As to anything further, you wouldn't expect me to divulge any details, really. Uh, Thomas, Steve Scott from ITV News. 
Um, Chelsea fans will know you very well. Other Premier League fans will know you well, but obviously England fans are a much bigger group than that. So mm. for those who don't know you, what sort of person are you? Can you describe your personality? My personality? Your personality. Well, maybe I try to describe my coaching personality, but I, I think it's, it's pretty obvious. I'm, I'm very emotional and I, I, I love to be, to be um, I love what I'm doing. I'm, I'm passionate about football. And um, like, like we said before, this, this task and, and this role like just brought the, the, young, the young me alive and it brought back the, 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 my, my teenage days like to, to get excited for, for, such a, for such a big task. For the three, for the three lions, for, for playing matches at Wembley, for, for working with this group of players, so everyone can be assured that we will do it with passion and with emotions, and uh, we will try to install values and um, and principles and, and and rules as as quickly as possible to to make the dream to make the dream come true. First, we have to, of course, go through the qualification process to the World Cup. But um, it starts for us in, in, in January, and um, we will dive in completely. Gareth Southgate developed a very specific culture within yeah. the England camp. Will you try and maintain that, or do you think you need to create your own, one that's more aligned to you? Create. No, we will build on it. We will build on it. I think Gareth and DFA did a fantastic job in terms of stability and consistency. Look at the last results in the tournament it's a quarter final semi final and 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 two finals in the last four tournaments it's it's outstanding the under 21s win titles the the younger teams are in in the competition to win titles the women team uh, wins titles so we are there i think the federation is there and it was a, a big part of taking that job i am curious i want to learn i will have a different schedule than in club football but i it was a big part uh, that that the, the knowledge and the quality of of the federation to to have that in, at my side and and uh, to combine it with my ideas with our ideas um, so we will build on on everything that uh, gareth built and dfa built and hopefully we can we can add a little bit of extra to to get it over the line thomas welcome and congratulations thank you you took an English team, Chelsea, to a Champions League final against Manchester City, who were overwhelming favourites going into that, and won. What does the prospect of 58 years of hurt mean to you? And are you relishing putting a second shirt star on an England shirt? Like I said, I, 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 I got very... Uh, Mark and John... Um, made very clear that it's about football, and this excited me very quickly because I was not sure before we had this first talk if this is a role for me like in international football because it is, the schedule is very different from, from club football. But then we found uh, so many similarities and so many things that, 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 that suited my, my approach and my hunger to, to, to achieve uh, special things. I always wanted to come back uh, to England. That was my big goal. I have the the, the best memories of, of the country, of the league and of the players, the attitude towards the game, the attitudes from the supporters who, um, uh, that shapes the players and the, the character of the players was uh, one of a kind. And um, that's why the, the offer came in the absolutely right time. We kept the momentum in, and within weeks we found, uh, we found a, a, a vision to share and, and a project and an adventure that, that I'm, I'm very happy to be, to be a, a big part of. And now I have to live up to it, of course. And, and um, I know that there are some trophies missing um, in, in the Federation. And of course, I want to be, I, I, I want to help to make it happen. You just said in the social media post, you said that you would like to put another star on our shirt yeah. you're already pledging your allegiance as okay. it were uh, a big question for lee Carsley had to answer will you sing the national anthem the national does an england anthem. manager <laughs> need to <laughs> yeah i understood from mark that it's a personal decision first of all if you if you sing it and there were managers who sang it and, and others who who didn't uh, i have not made my decision yet i want to be very honest with you it, uh, your anthem is very moving. The English anthem is very moving. I experienced it several times here at Wembley and um, even out with the players in the FA Cup final. So it was very touching. <clears throat> no matter what decision I, I will take, we have a bit of time until March. 
I, I, uh, I will always show my respect to my new role, to the country, and, and of course to a very moving, to a very moving anthem. But um, as this is a new subject, I will take a little bit time for, for this decision. Just a reminder, state name and organisation. Uh, Rob Harris from Sky News. Uh, welcome back. Congratulations. Thank you. Are you prepared for the pressure and intensity that the England job brings? And was that something that was on your mind in the past? Perhaps managers decided not to take this role because of the spotlight on their private life and things like that? This is always the last thing I think about and, um, because uh, I'm, I'm up for the pressure on the sportive side. I'm up for the big challenge. I'm, I'm, I'm up for the task. I'm up for these uh, 18 months to work with this group and be part of uh, this amazing federation. So these are all the reasons to, to jump in. The, the pressure on the personal side or the pressure that, that, that comes from, from media and that could arise if things don't go so well is never part of the, of the decision making and, and I don't feel it so much. I feel it of course then in the process but it's always, um, yeah, it's always a privilege and, and, and my love and my passion for the game is, is always much more than, than the downside of it. And from watching England and at recent tournaments, how do you think you can make the difference and turn this team into trophy winners? I think, first of all, they are there. We are there. The players uh, proved, the group of players proved that, that they are there. Uh, the consistency of quarterfinals, semifinals, finals is, is, uh, is impressive. And it shows that uh, we have players who compete in the strongest league in the world, day in, day out. So we have the ingredients. Um, and uh, we, we, we fully trust that this, is a, that this is the moment to install maybe also from club football um, patterns, behaviors, um, um, principles that can maybe help to, to, push the, to push the team over the line. We will need luck, we will need the momentum, we will, be, we will need to be lucky to not have uh, injuries and, and then so on and, and little decision within the games that is a given. But we feel confident to, to, to add something from, from our experience in club football that can maybe help. But uh, most important is to, to, even if we speak out now very openly what the target is about the second star, we have to prove ourselves um, all the time. You're a national player every single day. I will be a national coach every single day and not only when a camp is. So we have to live up to these standards, and I'm, but I'm very confident that everybody is used to that. So this is what I demand from myself. And uh, then we need to show it in qualification and, and build an atmosphere with the supporters and the country that extra, extra special things can happen. Rob Brimby, ARD Television, German TV's London Bureau. Um, wow. Es gibt Leute, eine Frage auf Deutsch, wenn es möglich ist. Es gibt okay. Leute, die sagen, dass der Nationaltrainer muss aus England kommen. Uh, wie können sich solche Vorurteile über, überwinden? I think they have a point. Oh, you want to translate? Uh, shall I translate? English. English. Shall I translate? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> English questions from now on. <laughs> But if you answer. <laughs> yeah. I, I think every, everyone has its opinion and I can understand even an, an opinion when someone says like I, I would fancy an English coach more for, for, for the English team. I can understand it, but um, I think uh, we deserve a, a fair chance. We deserve the credit for, for having a good record in the country, for never being shy of uh, how much we love to live in the country and how much we enjoy to uh, work with the players in Premier League. So. Um, maybe this counts a little bit for, for, for a, a, a British uh, edge on, on, on my German, on my German uh, passport. And so we will try to convince them by results and by the way we play. In English then, uh, Gareth Southgate was described as, by many people as uh, sympathetic, human and emotionally intelligent. How would you describe yourself? I think we're all human. I mean, we're all human, and uh, and uh, this is a, a big part of the job. I think, like I said, I, I'm I'm uh, I am uh, impressed of of the record that that uh, Gareth provided with this team, and uh, I am very well aware of uh, what he built together with Mark and John uh, in the federation as a foundation. And now it's on us to 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 leave our own marks, to leave our own footprints. And uh, yeah, we will try to, to take the next step from there. 
Hi, Thomas. Um, congratulations. Um, it's been widely reported that you've signed an 18-month contract. Is that true, firstly? And secondly, if so, how do you feel about potentially only having one shot at a tournament? Well, let's see. Let's see. It's 18 months, and then we agreed to sit together, and then we, we, we see. I mean... Um, I have good uh, experience with 18 months, personally. <laughs> Unfortunately, also, sometimes I'm working on my long-term game, but uh, um, you, you never know. Um, the point was, in this particular case, that it was important uh, for me to, to, to have a frame around it, because it's a little bit a step into the unknown for me. I am used to work on a daily basis with the staff. I'm used to work with a daily basis on, on, on the team, to have the influence on, on 60, 80 people in a training camp on a, every single day, to be three days a, a week away on, in hotel rooms and, and, and prepare matches. And, and this will be very different. So like the, the, the last piece of bit for me to, um, to understand that this is something that... that uh, that can really excite me to, to the fullest and, and um, was the time frame of 18 months to not also and, and to also to demand from myself to not lose the focus for all of us. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a good time frame because it will help us to focus. We are focused on the qualification and on the World Cup. It will help us in the nomination process. It will help us in the communication towards the players within the staff. So I think this is now very streamlined and very easy to explain. We are here to, to, to work on the best possible outcome for, for the World Cup 26. And, and then let's see um, whatever comes, comes. You obviously came in at Chelsea and had an immediate impact and won the Champions League in a matter of months. Do, do you think that experience is translatable to England and the time frame you've got now? I, um, I think so, yes, but I'm not fully sure because I have to feel into it. The, 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 um, the schedule will be different, the, the workload will be different, um, but uh, I wanted this, uh, I wanted exactly this once uh, Mark and John presented me the opportunity and, and made it very clear that it's about me and that they trust me with this uh, uh, process in, in, in in pushing this team, um, I, I was very happy now to have the chance also to um, to, to learn to learn on this process to, to, to have the strong foundation and, and stability and quality of the federation to get better, to get smarter, and um, to um, yeah to, to to get better while I'm while I'm on this job. So that this is, was a big part of it. And just for me, it's two questions. Come across to Henry Wins here, please. We've got time for a few more in this section, so if we can limit it to one question each, that'd be great. Thank you. Hi, Thomas. Henry Hi. Winter, World Soccer. First, congratulations. And secondly, you know Harry Kane well. Did yeah. you speak to him before taking the job, and will he remain your captain? I did speak to no one. We kept the process very confidential between uh, Mark, John, and, uh, and uh, me. I did not speak to um, to Harry. I didn't speak to Gareth. I also normally I never do this to get my own feeling for it and, and get my own point of view and let it sink in and reflect on it. So, no, haven't done it yet. Um, you know, it's it's too early to answer these kind of questions. You know how highly I think and feel for 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 Harry and how of a, how how much I fought to bring into Bayern Munich and uh, so he is. Um, he is uh, already on his way to be a legend in, in English football. And, but now I think it's also very important to, um, to, to give the respect to Lee and, and, and the camp, the upcoming camp in November, to take his, uh, his decisions free and without me interfering. And then the, we will answer this question in latest in March. Hi, Thomas. James Robson, Associated Press. Uh, you said it was a goal to get back to England. Can I ask why? Say again. You said it was a goal to get back to England yeah. for you. Can I ask why you chose England over, say, Manchester United, who you've been strongly linked with? Which would also have been England, but uh, in, but in why the, the country. Team? Um, because the 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 idea and 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 the way John and Mark presented it uh, was 
very fast, very exciting, and it was very confidential, it was very trustful, it was very straightforward, and um, yeah, that was basically a decision for this job and not a decision against anything else. You will understand that I will not comment on, on individual players today and, and for sure not comment like always on, on any other clubs. Can I ask Mark, um, were you rejected by anyone? Or was Thomas the only person you, had, you offered the job to? We, we ran a really clear process. We spoke with 10, like I say, approximately 10 people throughout the process. Clearly, some were more up for the role than others, but we were absolutely delighted to end up with Thomas, and we believe he gives us the best chance of winning the World Cup, so we believe we've got the best candidate for the job.